Welcome back everybody. This is going to be the second part of my beginner series on flip fluids for Blender. So this is kind of where we left off. I actually did a few couple things off camera because I realized I forgot to hit the bake button when I ended yesterday. So the first thing we're actually going to do is we're going to go ahead and hide this cube because we have no reason to see it in the render itself. So you're going to go up here after selecting it and clicking the camera icon to disable it in the actual render and then the eye here to disable it in the viewport. We're going to hit shift Z. I'm going to go into rendered view and you might have to come up here and change it to cycles renderer. I already did that. And we're going to move this out of the way. We're actually going to change this to a sun and maybe up the value a little bit. And then we're going to go to the world tab here, click use nodes. I'm just going to put a generic sky texture on here. And then I'm going to disable it in the view, viewport by hitting camera under ray visibility. So it's basically still creating all of the light. You just can't see it in the actual render. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit shift A. And we're going to bring in a plane and we're going to scale it by, well, let's do 45 times. Perfect. Now I'm going to hit zero on the numpad just to get our camera view. And then I'm pressing Shift F to move the camera around to about where we want it. Probably about there. Now you may notice that our plane is kind of going away or being clipped by the camera. So if you click on your camera here, and then the camera uh, icon right there, and right here it says clipping, you can go ahead and increase that value. I'm going to increase it a lot because I'm also going to scale this plane by 2 and then we're going to just move it back on the z-axis a little bit so it kind of covers everything up and then a little bit on the y. There we go. So then you can only see the plane. Now we're going to go ahead and materialize a couple of things. I'm going to add a anisotropic onto the plane. And it's really just for effect. I mean, you don't have to do it. We're going to crank the roughness, roughness up. And about maybe 85, 0.85. And I'm going to change the rotation. Oops. That's not rotation. Put that back to 0.5. Change the rotation here. There we go. Okay. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to go into wireframe mode and select each one of these boxes and go back to rendered view and we're going to add a mat new material and uh, maybe we'll make it a little bit I'm not sure what color, it's a little bit of a green color and if we click this little down arrow here it's going to say copy material to others so let's go ahead and do that and then we're going to jump ahead to frame 100 and just so I could see where the particles are and if you actually look they're not quite sitting on the floor. So we're going to select our plane. I'm going to press G and then Z. And that way we can move it up on the Z axis. I'm just going to press up arrow until the fluid looks pretty close to the ground. Now you may notice this white specks that are all over here. And these are actually, believe it or not, they're fireflies. Normally when you see fireflies, you see like one here and one there. But because we're using a sun and a glass shader, you get a lot more fireflies. So we're going to scroll over to our rendered tab here, go all the way down to sampling, and we're going to change it to 1.1. Now mine said 0 on the direct and 10 on the indirect. If you're running Eevee, it's going to tell you the same thing. The reason why mine says that is because I'm using a daily build. If you're using straight 2.79, then you will have nothing here. Still just go ahead and change it to 1 and 1. Okay, so now we're going to actually kind of change the way that this looks. You may notice you look at it and you go, well, what about all of the uh, particles that are supposed to come with it? In order to do that, you click on display settings here, scroll down here, and if you, let me scroll this over a little bit, and my face is in the way. Let's move that over there. You see this right here, render only. That means that they're only going to show up during the renderer. So if you uncheck each one of these and go over to white water, which it is actually undone, you will have it here, but you do have to skip to the next frame. And it takes a little second. This is actually 
not the best practice to do it because of how long it takes. So I may end up just pausing it and letting it load up and then showing you an easier way to do it. A little bit less uh, stressful on the computer. You may notice that it's a very strenuous way to do this. And if you notice, I have 19 million vertices. So normally when I'm going to change uh, a certain part of the material for the fluid itself, I will disable everything. Look how sluggish that is. That way it will save your computer quite a lot of well, heart attack. I'll even go as far as disabling the fluid and then reintroducing the particle that I want to edit. And you'll get kind of a cool little uh, singular particles right here as you can tell. So those are the particles we're going to change. Uh, in a future video, but right now the main thing that I wanted to focus on is let's, uh, changing the look of the actual built-in shader. Now this is the Water Ocean 2 shader. It's fine. Uh, it's not my favorite cup of tea, but it's not too bad. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit and change this around. Now if you notice the main two things you're going to, or the main three things you're going to change is the base color, the subsurface, uh, percentage here and then the subsurface color and also the transmission here I like it to be a solid one so we're going to go ahead and crank it up and you can already see how it's made it more clear transmission on the principal shader is basically the level of clearness so if you wanted it to be super clear just crank it up all the way now actually that doesn't look too bad but I think I'm going to lighten it up a little bit make it look a little bit more like I did in the video there we go and same thing with this, if we lighten this up, we get kind of that cool effect. Now I'm going to go ahead and disable this one, and we're going to bring in, let's do the bubbles. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the little eye here to see it in the viewport. And then I'm going to click on that and the actual object. And you can see how sluggish it is, because just with the white water bubbles here, we're still cranking out quite a lot of faces. Now I'm going to change this to something unusual. I'm going to change it to a mission. Which you might think that that's a really weird thing to do. But it is a really cool looking effect. Because you also have to imagine that you have two other particle systems here and you have the fluid. So when it's all mixed in it looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so this is going to be a preview of what we're going to be doing on the next tutorial here. I might actually go ahead and increase some of the uh, particles in there to make it a little bit more colorful but we'll walk you through how to do all of it and if you guys are excited make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video